Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for August 2018. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Keep in mind that if this feels right, it's right. If it feels wrong, it's wrong. Okay. Generally my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. Knight of Cups reversed. Now, somebody could be coming to sweep you off your feet, or they have. You know, this, this is an offer of love, you know, a message of love. Somebody's taking action in your direction, but, but there may not be any follow-through, okay? There may not be anything at the end of that rainbow that they're promising you, so keep that in mind. You know, I think that you may be offered an opportunity in love. You may be thinking about taking it, but you also may be dealing with a shady individual, somebody that isn't as honest as, you, you know, you'd like, and you may know that. This person seems to be um, very secretive, sneaky. Um, they think you don't see it. You see, you're, if you could be taking on this energy of the Queen of Wands, they, they're looking this way. Okay, they're offering this love. Okay, they're, they are. They're offering this Ace of Cups. They are. They're offering this, this love. But they have an ulterior motive. And they're not sure what that is. They're not even looking at you. Okay, they're not. They're not to say this is you. They're not looking at you. They think you don't notice. They think you're being vulnerable. Hmm. It's a fire sign up there we have water as well oh now we have swords oh my goodness so <laughs> now these readings are always for male or female so you know you are definitely here and you're reading there's absolutely no doubt about it and you're gonna you're seeing things clearly somebody's deceiving you some and you know it you know it Libra it's like it's no secret to you it's time to get the goosebumps you are making a judgment call within you and it's the right one it is. So if you're doubting yourself at all, if you're doubting your thoughts, if you're doubting, you know, what's going on up there, don't. Because you're seeing the situation clearly. I think you're dealing with a player and you know it. Now, this player could be anybody. It could be. It doesn't have to be a, a sexual partner. It could be anybody in your life. Okay? We do have Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here, so it could be another air sign, could be a fire sign, could be a water sign. That's what I see so far. You're definitely aware of what's going on. I, you are. There's a, there's a high awareness here, so it's like there ain't nobody that can get nothing past you. Oh my goodness. Yee. Um, let me get this focused in. So you are right in your own element. You are. I feel like you guys are very wise at this time. You're using the wisdom you've learned through past experiences to get you through some something. And you're seeing things absolutely clearly. I think you're dealing with an unrealistic situation, something that is very dissatisfying, and you're probably about ready to, you know, put somebody on the chopping block, okay? Because it looks like somebody could get hurt by you because they're, they're being sneaky, they're being shady, you know? And I think that you're highly aware of this. Now, for all you cross-watchers that are coming in at this point, and you're saying, oh, no, no, it was the Libra. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus right now. It takes two to tango. This reading is for them. They're dealing with a shady individual. It may not be you. It could be somebody else. So, I feel like you guys are quite happy with who, with, with who you are and what you are and what you're made up of. I think that you guys have a lot of confidence within you. Sometimes you may not see it, but I see it. I see it. I feel as though 
you know, you guys uh, have the ability to get through anything at this time. You have the resources within you, and you're using them. You're, you're at a, you're at a level of having a lot of power. Okay, you're in your own power, and the swords are power. These are swords of power. Okay, so the Ace of Swords is the Ace of Power. Okay, so you guys are right in your own power, and you have the power with this Magician card. To, to get through this, to do whatever, to cut whoever out that needs to be cut out. It's in your hands. The sword is in your hands. Alright. Um, other people see that you are very decisive. They see that you are very strong. They see that you are firm. They see that you are probably unbudgeable at this time. Other people, but whoever this shady individual is that you're dealing with, they think you're vulnerable. They do. There could be another person involved, okay? This person, so here you are, seeing this shady behavior. And here's another woman, if you want to look at it this way. So there, there could be, you know, there could be another woman, okay? Just saying, however that resonates with you. There could be another woman or another man, okay? There could be another person in the mix that is thinking that they're getting away with something, but they really aren't getting away with something because you know the truth. That's what I see. I feel like there is a lack of, um, you know, I, you guys may not know the confidence that you have. Sometimes you may get go through a bit of a depression, but that confidence is down in there. Okay, so this does represent you, Libra. It does. It's in reverse. I think that you guys don't mean to cause anybody any pain and you don't want to cause anybody pain, but if you get your toes stepped on, you know, if you if you get if you get to the point where you're being attacked or being lied to or being cheated, you know, it's going to probably cause some pain. So I feel like there's belts of time where you guys lack the confidence. I mean, you have it. It's down. It's in there. It's in there. And so so at some points you 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 forget about how confident you are and you also forget about your um your inner beauty you know how beautiful you really are i think that sometimes these people that cheat you and lie to you and try to bring you down sometimes it actually gets to you but you know and some people may say you know what it's you that doesn't have any compassion but the fact of the matter is you do have compassion if somebody comes in and they cheat you and they lie to you it who the hell is going to have compassion at that point? Nobody. Nobody. So I, I feel at this time, you know what, you're not trying to cause anybody any pain. But I feel like at this point you may, you, you probably may have to because you're being, you know, you're dealing with a shady individual. So I don't know what that means or who that's for. But I think you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have any follow through with their I love yous. Ooh, so you know there could be a new opportunity on the horizon for you, Libra. Perhaps you there's a, an opportunity for a union with somebody that isn't your usual type. Okay, this could even be a soulmate connection. I see a soulmate connection here as well. So I feel like you have a soulmate connection with somebody, but this is new. When I see the lovers card, I see that you think that the wrong one is the right one but you have somebody else that's what I see when I see the lovers card and I'm not just telling you that Libra I tell every sign this when I see the lovers card it means that you 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 have a soulmate you have a, a new partnership or a partner that isn't who you think it is that's what I get when I see this card okay I feel like um, this is very unexpected somebody is is probably going to come into your life very very unexpectedly or they have Okay, and you have to make a decision whether to let them in or not. You have to make a logical decision whether to allow them into your life. But you may not feel like, you may not love yourself even enough to let them. Or you may, not, you may have been hurt so badly from a past cheater, a past liar, that your heart isn't quite open for this new offer. Okay, I do feel like you have a new offer, Libra, but you've been hurt. You've been hurt, like, really bad. 
that's what I see. And I think you found your happiness and your independence. You know, you have. You found your happiness and you're feeling really positive with where things at. And somebody can see your beauty. Somebody can see your vibrancy. And, and you know, I think that th there's an offer on the table, but you're like, oh, man, I'm so scared. I don't, I don't trust anybody at this point. I don't trust anybody. But there is an opportunity for a beautiful union here with a soulmate. And I think it is somebody new. But I feel like you don't have faith. You don't have faith and trust in any kind of uh, commitment at this time. I don't think you do. It's like, and so therefore, you're not, you're not allowing. You're not allowing this good thing to come into your life. You're not allowing this, this uh, new destiny, this new chapter to start. Because you're, you're still, you know, guarded over this past deception. That's what it looks like to me. I feel like you're bringing, you know, this is a run of bad luck. You have been through a run of bad luck. You have. Chalk it up to that. That chapter of your life wants to end whatever it is, this deception, these lies, this betrayal that you're, you're still holding on to. You need to not bring that with you and allow this new opportunity to flourish. But I feel like you won't allow it. You will not allow it. It's like there's, there's no commitment here. There's discontent that you're, you're not willing to... Be part of this. Be part of this long-term commitment. You know what I mean? It's like I'm not. I don't. I don't trust. I don't trust this connection. I don't trust this partnership. I mean, they're partners here. It's like you're not. You're too scared. You, you're you're happy with your independence, but you want somebody else. You want love, but you you've been hurt so bad by somebody buddy else that you haven't quite you know, cut the cord with yet. That's what it looks like. Because she's got to cut the cord right up here. She's pointing up here. It's like, it's like, okay, look at this. I mean, there she is. It was like this. Okay, she, or you, you need to cut this deceptive situation, this deceptive person who thinks they're getting away with murder out of your life. You need to stand up for yourself. You need to put yourself first. You need to love yourself. And, and, and you haven't been. This is trying to control destiny. You can't control destiny. It is. This is clinging to control. The Wheel of Fortune in reverse is clinging to the control of destiny. You can't control destiny. Yeah, many people think they can, but you can't. So I feel like right now there's a lack of faith and commitment. It's like I don't dare to commit to anybody at this point. I haven't even completely cut the cords with the last one. So I feel like there's an opportunity for new for a new connection here with perhaps a new soulmate, but you don't have any faith and trust in it. But your challenge, this is your challenge position right here, is finding the resources within you to shed the old. This is about shedding the old. This is to bring success and victory to your life. It's finding that inner power using all the tools that you can find to release. But you have to be willing. This is this is being willing to find the tools to use the resources to bring change. That's your challenge. You have to be this is willingness, it is. You have to be willing to cut whoever this deceptive person is out of your life. So anyway, I feel like right now that you know there could be a divorce, there could be a breakup, there could be a split on the horizon, or there has been, but you haven't quite cut the cord. And now there's a new opportunity for love with somebody who you really have a lot in common with. But you're probably not giving them much of a chance because you feel like there's no follow through. You feel like they won't come through because you've been so hurt. And I think this person in this case will come through, but you're feeling like they won't. So you're shutting yourself down from it. 
to Libra for the month of August, I feel as though there's an opportunity for happiness with somebody new. You have to make a choice. This is a card of choice and it's a card of consequences. Be prepared to live with the consequences of this choice. If you continue to stay in a situation, I think many of you are are single, okay, or you're feeling single, or you're feeling very alone. Whether you're single or not, you're feeling lonely. And there's an opportunity for a soulmate connection, but you just will not allow it. There's no faith and trust. But I'm here to tell you that this person, I think this person has good intentions. I do. I really do. Even though you probably think there's no gold at the end of that rainbow because you've been lied to and hurt so badly. Look at that. You. This is a soulmate connection. It's not with somebody from your past. It's not. You don't call in somebody, you don't call in, you know, the past. Calling in your soulmate, this is somebody new. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is a new soulmate, I know that it is. It's Cupid bringing you together. If you could only stop trying to control, stop trying to control who it is. You can't control who it is. And I know that's hard to, you know, you can't control who it is. I mean, that's kind of hypocritical, right? It is. It is. But destiny plays a part. The written script, the, the, the plan. You can't make somebody come back. You can't make somebody love you. You can't, con well, you can. I mean, you, let me change this. You can't make somebody love you. I was going to say you can't make somebody stay if they don't want to stay. You can't continue to hold on to somebody that that isn't in your life. That's what I was going to say. You can't continue to, but you can. It's all, it's up to you. If you want to continue to hold on to a deceptive, lying, cheating situation, I mean, that's, the, the, you will live with the consequences of your choice and it will, you'll bring bad luck and bad karma into your life. The wheel of fortune is reversed as bad luck, bad karma. I mean, if you don't do the right thing, somebody needs to be cut out so that your true actual soulmate can come in. And this means mentally, you know, mental, the thoughts. I feel like you have a, you have a new soulmate coming in. It's, it's probably, it could be a Gemini, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be, a, you have a Leo a couple times. Could be a water sign, I don't know. Could be another air sign. But I feel like you absolutely have a soulmate connection with somebody new that Cupid, the universe, the heavens are trying to unite you with and that you need to give it a chance. That's what I see. But I think this is somebody new. I really, really do. Trying to control destiny will only bring you bad luck. There's love here for you. There is. Guidance. It fell out. Ask for guidance. The divine will meet your every need. But they will not bring you the wrong one. They will not. Ask for guidance for what is the best situation for me to be in. So Libra, I feel as though there's an opportunity for a new connection here when you let go of a deceptive commitment. So that's what I have. I wish you the best. Good luck.